Hello everyone, welcome back. So now we're going to add more on to this box right here. Um, so it has pretty simple geometry looking at the uh, reference picture again. It's just two boxes with a handle on each one. So we're going to step in some of the more complicated aspects of uh, modeling. I mean they're pretty basic but obviously if you've never done 3D stuff before they can be confusing. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And what we want to do is we want to punch a hole in this box for the handle. Um, so one way to do that is we can add the supporting edges necessary for that. We'll delete the faces where we want the hole to be, and then we'll reconnect the faces. Um, so that sounds a little confusing, but it'll make sense in a second. So um, first things first, I'm going to... let me think about this. Um, I think for the sake of this, we're going to actually add geometry to it. So this is where we're going to quickly introduce you to modifiers. So we're going to hit tab to get out of edit mode, and we're going to come down to this wrench icon right here. And making sure this object's selected, we're going to add a modifier, and we're going to come down to solidify. So what solidify does is it'll make it so the object isn't just like an empty void in the center. It actually has some uh, supporting edges, kind of like a uh, like a drawer. So just to give you a better example, if I hit Z, shift into wireframe, you can see there's a slight outline, and that's the uh, new geometry we're making. So if I turn this off, you'll see it's just a box with a void inside, but if I turn this on, you can see it actually has like the, uh, the boxiness of it. Um, so this doesn't have to be too thick, but we're going to go down to thickness here, and while holding shift, I'm just going to click and drag. So you can see we're kind of lightly changing it, so when you hold down shift, it'll make this um, a more gradual effect. So I'm just going to drag it to about 0 0.05, just that looks good. Um, so we could just leave this like it is, but we're actually going to want to mess with the geometry. So we're going to hit apply, and it'll add the uh, geometry inside. So for example, if I go back into solid view and I go inside the box with my camera, you can see there's actually an inside to it. It isn't, see like that edge in between, if I can kind of, you see? So now that we have that inside geometry, we can actually cut a hole in our box. So we're going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. Um, I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect everything. And now what we need to do is we need to add what's called a ring loop. So one way you can do it is you can use um, this little button over here. Uh, not extrude, sorry. Uh, loop cut. So we want to make a loop cut. So you could click here. So with this selected, you can come over here and you notice there's this little uh, yellow line. So when you go to a supporting edge, it'll show up. So like here, it has one going across like... Uh, horizontally and if I come down here there's one vertically but we want the horizontal one so you could click on this tool but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the select mode and I'm gonna hit control R and you see it basically automatically reselects that tool um, so I'm gonna click right here left click and you can see we have a new edge here so if we move it up and down we can slide it um, so we're gonna want to cut a hole so we need a supporting edge right around here and I'm gonna hit control R again and then click and we want another one right around here. So you can see we have two lines here. Now we need two uh, vertical lines. So we're going to hit Control R, and then before we click, we're we're actually going to hit we're going to scroll up on the mouse wheel one time, and you see now there's two of them. Um, and if you keep scrolling, you can add as many as you want. But in this case, we just want two. So there's two of them. We're going to click, and we don't actually want to slide them, so instead of cl uh, left clicking, we're going to right click and they'll go to their default position. And then I'm going to hit S, and then I'm going to hit um, X. And then now, when we when we scale in this context um, with the X axis lock, you can see the red line going across the screen. When we when we move it, it'll just um, sh uh, basically slide them. Um, we do have to be careful with this though, because if we overslide them past their boundaries, we'll start to see some weird artifacts. But in this case, I just want to make it about handle size, so right around here. So I'm going to left click, and I just place the edge loops. Um, so now you can kind of see a spot where we can punch that hole I was talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to face select mode, and I'm going to click on this face right here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So now I'm going to hit X and delete only faces. Um, and you can see um, it actually didn't, so it's hard to see because the back face culling is on, so I'm going to go up to shading here. I'm going to turn off back face culling. So you can see there's actually that inside box. So see that geometry I was talking about that it made? So we need to add loop cuts to the inside too. So it's going to be a little awkward from this position, 
Um, I should have, I could have done this with a knife cut, but I'm just gonna kind of jankily do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit Control R, and actually we're gonna we're gonna do this from the inside the box, so it's a bit easier. So I'm gonna hit Control R, and I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna slide it up a little bit, and I'm gonna hit Control R again, and I'm gonna slide it up a little bit. There we go. Now to make sure these are level, so I'm gonna hit wireframe. So it's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see. So we have one loop here. I'm going to hit Alt click. Sorry, Alt click right here. Oh. There we go. So I'm going to Alt click that um, ring. I had to go inside to do it in this case. Um, so you can notice it isn't really lined up with this box here. So I know it looks kind of confusing, but I'm going to come back in here real quick. Um, solid. So see, it isn't really lined up with that other one right there so what we're gonna do is we're going to shift it up a bit so in order to, and we need it to snap so in order to snap it to these vertices up here um, while it's already selected so if I go back into solid view it's already selected um, and if you need to make it selected you can just alt click and it selects that whole ring as you can see on the inside um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into wireframe and then we're gonna come up here and we're going to click on this little, it looks like, it says increment, it looks like a ruler. We're gonna change this to edge mode. And if we click on this magnet to enable ed uh, uh, edge uh, edge snapping, um, when we when we move these uh, edges, it'll try to snap to whatever vert vert vertex uh, edge that we are um, hovering over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Z, go back into solid view. I'm going to rotate back out here, making sure that inside loop is selected. And if we tap G once, you'll notice it's moving them around, but it's uh, it's weird. Like if we go over edges, it'll like snap the vertices and stuff. Um, so we don't want to do that. So what we're going to want to do is hit G a second time. And now you'll notice we can only move up and down. So basically, when you double tap G while selecting a vert vertex, ah, an edge loop, it'll only allow you to shift it, and it'll it'll stop you at the edges. So with that top loop selected, we're going to double tap G, and then I'm going to tut hover over these edges right here. Maybe. We'll try switching it to uh, vertex select. This might work better. So double tap G, move it up. Oh, it's giving me some problems. Oh, we might not be able... Okay, yeah, never mind. It's because, okay, we can't double tap G in this case. Um, so we're going to tap G, and then we're going to hit Z to just lock it into Z. Same effect, but it's, it is a little bit different. So tap G, Z, and then we're going to put it on this vertex right here, because we're in vertex snapping mode, and when we click, it'll lock it. So now it is perfectly level with that edge loop, if you can kind of see that. So now we're going to go inside. I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect everything. We're going to Alt-click this edge. We have the whole edge loop selected. Um, you can kind of see it down there. I'm going to hit G and then Z and see it's sliding again. And then when we hover over this vertex right here, it'll snap it. And now it's level. So we're going to kind of repeat the process, but with the vertical line. So if you can kind of see in here, we're going to go inside the box. We're going to hit Control R and we're going to scroll wheel up. And then we're going to click. And then we're going to right click to make sure we don't move them. And then it actually appears that they're almost perfectly lined up, but I'm going to double check. So I'm going to go inside, hit Alt-A to deselect, Alt-click to select the, the uh, edge ring, and then I'm going to hit G, and then I'm, in this case we want to uh, lock it to the x-axis right here. So we're going to hit G and then X, and see it's sliding on the x-axis, and then if we hover over this vertex, it snaps. Um, and I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect it, uh, Alt-click to select the other side, G, X, lock it, sliding and then hover over the vertex. So now this inside loop is identical to the outside loop. So now we can go into face select, click on this little face right here, see how we it lines up with the other one that we deleted. We're going to hit X, delete faces, and now you can actually peer inside the box, kind of like a handle. Um, but you notice we still have this weird um, like broken bit. So what we need to do now is connect these faces. So that's going to be pretty easy. So we're going to go to Edge Select to make this faster. We're going to click on this edge, and then we're going to Shift click on this other edge that's uh, across from it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new face. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, and that'll bridge it with a face. 
And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on this edge and then shift click that edge. Hit F. Click, shift, click, F. Click, shift, click, F. So you see if we hit tab to get out of edit mode, we now have a handle. So that looks pretty nifty, right? Um, you can see that's where our box is. Um, so now what we want to do is we're going to have two of them. So what, we, what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on the screen dot again to get in this front facing view. And then I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate again. And then I'm going to right click so it snaps back to the default position. And I'm going to click this red arrow and drag it over. And I'm going to make it look somewhat even to this, leg, like the distance from the leg. And you notice now we have a pretty nice looking table. It's very simplistic, but we're going to add textures to it later to make it look very nice. So, and if you haven't done it at this point already, we should really save our project. So what we're going to do is you can hit Control S, or in this case, I'm going to go up to File, Save, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop. We're going to click here. We're going to type in bathroom scene. Actually, can I put this somewhere else? Um, yeah, we're going to put it. I'm going to put this in my uh, video file, video folder, real quick. YouTube videos, that part three. Bathroom scene. Actually, we'll put it right here. So we're, whenever you have it in the uh, in the spot you want it, you can just come up here and hit save Blender file. So now it's saved. So make sure you regularly save your product or your project so you don't lose them. So now we have a pretty nifty looking table. You can kind of see the uh, the similarities right here. Um, so in the next video, we're going to actually model the sink, and we might even connect the. Uh, I think I'm going to connect the table first in the next one as well. So thank you for watching. I hope I wasn't going too fast or too slow. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I love constructive criticism, um, and thanks for watching.